Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be opening here set 1.5 for Digimon. This is definitely a long awaited set that I was meant to open a long time ago. But the thing is this, I've just been waiting and I've ended up buying a lot of other sets instead uh, that are actually more recent than this particular set here. I mean, this particular set is essentially the second set to come out uh, for the game itself. So it uh, goes to show how long it's actually been. I mean, essentially two years or so, right? Uh, but with that being said, this set does definitely contain a lot of really important cards. And as a result, I definitely had to open up one of these boxes, at least the bare minimum one of them. And the amazing thing is that I was able to get this for a really uh, good price as well. So uh, definitely really pleased about that. Now, this is definitely a really big set because it says it's 152 types here. But if you actually search online, you'll find that it's actually 198 cards, uh, most likely because it's also considering the fact that you might be getting uh, alternate arts for certain cards as well, or full art cards. And that pretty much just makes the set so much bigger. As a result, there is a chance that I might be able to open up more than just one box. But you know what, it's going to be a very long video anyway, so let's just get started right away. But yeah, other than that, definitely let me know uh, what you guys actually think about this particular set. Do you guys still think that this set is relevant in this particular format? Because at least for me, I feel like at least every set, everyone should be buying one of or opening a box of. Uh, so we have over here our box topper, which is a foil version of Garurumon uh, in black, which is very interesting. But uh, with that being said, you can easily just get it in this set. So I don't think that's a major issue there. But we'll set that aside. We also have this over here, which is something I'm not too familiar with. But it says it's a promotion pack with two cards in there. So it's going to be really interesting because we have over here our potential cards that we can get. But I guess it's going to be more fun just to open it up and see what we actually get here. So here's to the first interesting pack over here. And right off the bat, we have over here Agumon, which is actually not even a foil. It's just a regular card. Uh, but over here we do have... Oh no, actually they are sort of foil. It's not necessarily foil, more like a bit of a weird holographic added over it. Yeah, I really don't know how to describe it, but they are both just uh, promotional cards. Um, but yeah, that's definitely nice. Greymon and Grey uh, Argumon. So yeah, really awesome. I uh, just can't complain about that. I mean, it's always nice to get just a few extra bonuses, uh, but I'll set that aside for the time being. For now, we obviously have our packs here, 24 packs and uh, the usual 12 cards per pack as well. So yeah, as I said, this is going to be a very big set, so I'm definitely very excited to see uh, what we could potentially get out of this. I imagine it's going to be really difficult to complete play sets of certain cards, uh, but I guess we'll just have to find out. Um, I like how there's also different artwork for every pack as well. It seems like, yeah, there we go. We actually have like four different types here. That's really cool. Um, I believe it is four different types. Yeah, it's four different types of packs that you could potentially get in terms of the artwork. So I never actually noticed that. It's definitely very interesting. So, you know what? Let's just uh, start off right here with our first pack and get right to it. All right, so in this pack over here, let's find out what we get. So definitely really interesting uh, Digimon we have over here. I'm looking around, obviously some stuff that is familiar, but some other stuff that is uh, quite interesting. Ken Ichimoji as our rare for the first, and we have Vmon as a rare as well. Definitely very nice, and this here is our set list. Um, but we'll just set that aside for the time being. So off to an okay start, but nothing particularly special yet. But let's go on to the next bit of artwork and uh, see how we actually go in this particular pack. So I'm just gonna break that open there and let's find out what we have in this one. Definitely really interesting. A lot of key cards you could potentially use, so it's nice. We have our rare Mega Gargomon, uh, interesting card. And we have over here a Metal Mainmon or Meat. 
Mamemon. It's very interesting. Um, but again, nothing particularly special yet. So let's just move on and find out what we have in our third pack. It's definitely really interesting to see as well how many foils we could potentially get in this box because obviously this is set 1.5. So can we actually get more foils or would we get less? Who knows? But let's find out. Um, this looks like our first rare testament. And we have over here Edamon as well as our last rare. Very interesting there. So far no foils, not a big deal, but uh, normally we would expect to get about 9 or 10 foils, maybe even 8 to be honest. But uh, with that being said, let's just find out uh, what this pack actually, or this particular set actually offers us in terms of foils, because obviously it's going to be very different from other sets as well. Or maybe it could be the same, but we'll only have to find out. So we have over here our... Grace Cross Fraser as our first rare here and it looks like we have a foil we have over here oh very nice we have Ragnar Lodmon which is a very interesting card uh, this here is for red so that's really cool for a start let me just uh, give a nice focus here on the card sorry just bump the camera there but definitely looking really nice there yeah pretty nice first first uh, SR that is. Um, so let's keep it up and see what else we can get. But for the time being, definitely let me know what you guys actually think about this. Um, this I managed to get a really good deal out of for this box, but a lot of people have actually been telling me that this particular set is definitely uh, quite the pricey set as well, very hard to find. Uh, so we have Stingmon and we have Mimi Taichikawa. Uh, which is okay of course because uh, we could still get some really great stuff later down the line uh, but yeah this particular set is definitely something that is uh, not easy to find and a lot of stores are charging uh, very pricey uh, prices for these so with that being said uh, a lot of people are definitely having a lot of issues uh, trying to get this particular set but you know what it's okay as long as we uh, manage to open up some and uh, yeah Hopefully we get some good stuff here, but we have over here our rare Angel Woman, very nice. And, oh, another foil, look at that, we have All Vidramon, or All Force Vidramon, definitely very awesome to see this card. One of my favorite Digimon, so definitely really cool there. Uh, but yeah, this is another SR. Uh, not too sure if this is actually the same one as in the starter deck, I don't think it is, uh, but correct me if I'm wrong. It's uh, definitely just really nice to see there, and it looks like it is a gold border as well. So it's going to be an alternate art card, which is definitely very fantastic, of course. But uh, with that being said, let's move on to this next pack here, and let's see what we actually get in this one. So, so far it's a big set, so I'm not seeing any duplicates whatsoever. We have over here our Shakomon as our rare, and... We have Brave Shield for the other rare. Alright, not too bad there, but uh, nothing particularly standing out either. So, let's uh, try and get this opened up here. Let's continue on and see what else we can get. So, in this particular pack, we have our rare being XVmon. Very nice, interesting. And we have a Grace Cross Freezer. That looks like our second copy, so that's not too bad there. Uh, as I said, I imagine it would be really hard to actually get play sets of certain cards in this particular set. So I reckon you would have to buy way more than just two boxes, maybe even three or four. Uh, which might be quite an inconvenience, but you know what, it is a big set, so can't really complain about that anyway, right? Um, so let's see what we have in this one. We have uh, Durandamon, which is our rare, very nice. And we have, oh nice, we have here uh, All Force Vidramon. So I believe this is the exact same card as the one we pulled before, except it is the original one. So yeah, there we go. We have uh, two copies of the same card, very pleased about that. One is with the gold border, one is without. But uh, yeah, both are SRs, both are the same card, so definitely very nice here. It's almost as if it's telling me to actually build that deck, uh, which I wouldn't mind building actually, would be pretty fun to. Also got the uh, starter decks as well, so that would be uh, really fun to actually uh, try out. 
but let's move on and let's see what else we can get here. Uh, we have another copy of Durandamon, which is fantastic. And we have over here a rare Paldramon, which is obviously very nice because it does technically go into the All Force Vidramon, so that's really cool there. Uh, but yeah, let's move on. We have two packs left on the right side, so let's find out what else we could potentially get. Alright, let me just try and get this opened without damaging the cards, of course. But uh, yeah, let's find out what we have in this particular one. So far we only have three foils, so actually quite a few amount of cards here, but we have our rare Mallow Myotismon, very nice, and oh, a foil, we have Kresgururumon, very interesting, and in black as well. Um, obviously it came out as a purple card in the um, starter deck, but seeing that this is a black version of it, it's definitely really awesome. But uh, yeah, just another SR, but that's four foils. Definitely really interesting indeed. Really cool to see there. So let's keep going and open up the final pack of the right side. All right, let's see what's in here. This is definitely getting really exciting to see the different potential foils we could actually get in this set. We have here Goldramon. Wow, interesting. Uh, Ophanimon as our... Uh, rare card here and we have a rare Rena Shinomiya very interesting as our tamer first time I'm seeing that but uh, with that being said let's now move on to the left side and let's see how it fares compared to the first side so in here we have over here let's see what do we have here in this one we have Rise Greymon as our rare and we have Salomon as a rare as well. Uh, that does look like the second copy of Salomon, so definitely very interesting there. Uh, but let's just continue on and see uh, how lucky we can actually get with whatever's remaining. So, just trying to get this opened up without damaging the cards. Bit of a challenge, but that's okay. Let's see what we have in this particular box. Oh, looks like a bit of a foil there, bit of a spoiler. But we have over here Rise Greymon in yellow, very interesting, but uh, next up we have... Oh, nice! So this card I am very familiar with, a lot of people definitely talk about this a lot. Uh, Blitz Greymon, uh, one of the crucial ones here, very powerful card indeed. People actually build this deck and is mained uh, quite a bit at tournaments, obviously maybe not so much now in this current format, but uh, definitely a good contender that I would honestly consider still as a rogue option so really awesome there and it is black red so really interesting but uh yeah that is definitely a fantastic card very different of course to the blitz greymon that you'll get in the starter deck but uh yeah in this particular set here it is uh definitely an option you could get so that's very nice hoping i could potentially get a playset of that so that i could give a crack at that particular deck itself so let's see what else we have. We have Scrap Claw as a rare and Cherubimon as a rare as well. Uh, not too bad of an option there. Not too bad of a particular Digimon. But uh, nothing notable after that. That Rise, that Blitz Greymon is actually really amazing to be honest. So I'm really happy about that particular pull there. Uh, but let's continue on now and hope that stays in this particular theme here of uh, potentially interesting stuff. So we have over here our rare Phoenix Mon. Um, you know, just nothing special there, but uh, we have Aero Vidramon, very nice card. Uh, definitely really interesting. There you go, that's awesome. But moving on here, let's see what else we have. All right, getting this pack open there find out what we have over here in this particular one. We have a foil there, a bit of a spoiler, but we have Davis uh, Motomiya, which is a tamer. Uh, going to be really good if you're actually building the All Force Vidramon deck. But we have, oh nice, a yellow card, but this is Shine Greymon, a fantastic option to actually pull here. Uh, definitely not complaining about that, really interesting indeed. Uh, didn't expect Shine Greymon to actually come as yellow, but uh, yeah, very cool indeed to actually get that. Uh, obviously, you could tell I didn't really research the set entirely, 
just took a quick glimpse of what was actually available. Mind you, it is a big set, so can't really expect me to remember everything on the first go there. It's about a 190 cards, you know? Uh, 198 cards, I mean, that's nearly 200 cards. But we have another Davis, which is fantastic, and we have Mallow Myotis one. Uh, a few duplicates there, but that's good because obviously the goal is to complete your play sets of the cards you actually need for your deck. So let's continue on and let's find out what else we can actually get in this particular box. Uh, we have all a bit of a foil there, I see. We have over here Metal Greymon, fantastic. The first one we've pulled so far, and we only have a few packs left, but we have, oh my goodness, look at that. So, correct me, I mean, I did make a mistake earlier. When we pulled the Pale Dramon, I said it went into the All, v All Force V Dramon, which is my mistake. It goes into Imperial Dramon. So in this case, we have over here our Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode, which uh, if you have Pale Dramon, it goes into this. Um, yeah, definitely very nice. Wow, so that's our secrets. Uh, definitely not complaining. Uh, definitely very happy about this particular pool here. So that's quite fantastic indeed. Uh, but with that being said, let's move on and let's find out uh, what else we actually have over here. Alright, so in this particular one we have... Let's find out. We have a... Is this a rare? That's glorious burst. Doesn't look like it, but yeah, it's it's a rare. And oh, another foil. We have Mastermon as well. Oh my goodness. That's actually very surprising. Um, because the thing is this. So we have over here Mastermon. We have Imperial Dramon. Uh, so Mastermon is a purple and yellow. And Imperial Dramon is a green and blue. Uh, we also have over here, where is it? Let me just look for it. Well, actually, that wasn't supposed to be there. That's just a rare. Uh, we also have here All Force Vidramon. And we have... Uh, where is it? No, I think that's it for now. But these all came in their own starter decks, which is definitely very interesting indeed, you know? So to see that we actually all have these here, yeah, really interesting for sure. Uh, I think the only one we don't have is Gallantmon, which I believe should also be in this set. Uh, but as you can see, they haven't started with the whole split coloring yet, so right now it's just what it is uh, for the time being. But uh, yeah, that's definitely very interesting. So let's see, we have four packs left and we've pulled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've pulled eight foils, so let's find out what we actually can get uh, in the final four packs. So starting off here with the first one. Let's hope things end up really strong here in this final four packs. Um, I don't know. Don't want to bring up my expectations too high of course, but I guess we'll find out what we actually get. We have over here our Clavis Angemon. Let me just focus up there for a bit. And we have Joe Keto. Very interesting indeed. And a Bro Ludramon, very interesting for a rare. First time we're actually getting that, but uh, with that being said, let's move on and let's find out what we actually have in this particular pack here. Right, so let me just try and get this open, of course. Uh, definitely quite a challenge, of course, but uh, that's okay as long as we get to our goal here. Let's see, we have over here, oh, Goldramon again, very nice. We have here Dino Beamon as our rare, and we have a Metal Greymon, second copy, very nice indeed. Um, pretty much just halfway there to our playset, so not complaining about that. I do feel like I'm going to be buying a second box of this if I can actually find one, so that'll definitely be really interesting and really fun to actually open up. But with that being said, let's see what we have here. I think I see a bit of a foil there, so it looks like we're getting nine foils. Um, but we have over here Dino Beamon, and we have... Oh, wow, we have an Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode, which is actually the same one as we got from before. But the only difference is we actually got uh, the gold-bordered version of it, and this one over here is uh, the regular version of it. Um, it does look like the same. No, it actually is different cards. They're both different, yeah. So this one here is 
Um, this one has piercing and this one has jamming, so you can actually see that there is definitely differences to it. Didn't realize it actually had two different versions, but with that being said, we have a final pack here, so let's hope for the best and uh, find out what we can actually pull in this final one. This has actually been quite fun to actually open up. I mean, it's quite the variety of cards, uh, quite an interesting set indeed. So let's find out here what we have for our finale. We have our Wormon as our rare and our Glorious Burst, which uh, is just a rare, but that's okay. Let's do a bit of a quick recap. We have over here Imperial Dramon, uh, one being our secret, one being our regular one. Uh, yeah, just really cool there. We have over here our Mastermon, which is a fantastic card, of course. We have our All Four Speed Dramon uh, in two versions. So one being Gold Border, one being in the regular version of it as well. Uh, we have over here our Shine Greymon and our Blitz Greymon. Fantastic cards there. We have a Krez Grurumon. And for our final card, we have our Ragnar Lordmon. All just very fantastic pulls. So yeah, tell me what you guys actually thought about these ones. But in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great day. And thanks for joining me today. Till then, I'll see you all next time.